<laughs> See if I can get him in here. He's a pretty good one. Easy. Oh boy. Wow, I got him on the outside. <laughs> you messed up. You shouldn't have bit the middle. Oh, he's a he's a good one. Pretty. Yeah. So we're talking about 12 and 3 quarters. That's what you're looking for, crappy like that. <laughs> Look how thick he is. We'll take him. Hey guys, we're back and we're going after them crappie again. It's nice, nice and cold today, but it's not too bad. Just before Christmas, guys, we're going to see if we can catch some good ones. Let's do it. Well, guys, I got me some poles out. I got like two 10 footers sticking out on each side of the boat. A five, six right there and a seven footer. And then I got a 12 footer up here on the front and I'll swap it around and uh, I'll take this old. I love these rod holders guys if you like rod holders that are easy to put on i actually put these and keep mine on there but they're really flexible these are by lunker trail and it just goes on your tie down cleat right there but it locks in it's, it's good and solid and you can i put some spacers under there to adjust the pitch on it so it's really handy but anyway when you catch a fish guys this is what i like about this let me put this pole over here when when this is sitting in there just like that and the fish bite it's just so easy to pull it up and get it out of there because it's not locked down and fixed in one position it flexes so you can actually set the hook on the fish pull that pole back and set the hook pull it out of there and you got him and i got one more i gotta put on this other side I about run out of room over here but i got one right there on the back and i got one right here on the back guys i love these things you guys seen lots of my, my videos lots of crappie being caught right here on the side of the boat while i'm fishing so if you're going to do this kind of tactic you might want to consider something simple like this because like i said if you got a fixed one then you pull up and it gets binded in the in the rod holder but this one no it just lifts up with you i like that and you don't lose your pose that's what happened i kept dropping my fish would drag my poles in the water and i'd get snagged and they'd pull my fish in the water i don't lose them no more so i keep my <laughs> Keep my rods in the boat that's what you want to do but anyway guys i'll put a link down below the video in the description box they're under lunker trail rod holders if you want to check them out there he goes have a snag and a crappie at the same time <laughs> electric chicken middle and a pink head he's a little little a little bit too small let's see how long he is well maybe <laughs> he is nine and three quarters a little over nine and three quarters he's close later there he goes i seen that bite he's gonna take it again oh yeah there he goes he might be a keeper. Looks like a good, a good one. He hit that old... Ah, easy. Electric chicken with the pink head. And a live minnow. Works pretty good. Ah, let's see how long he is. He's a white crappie. Mm-hmm. He's down there at ten and a half. Good crappie. We'll take him. Yeah, while we're sitting here, guys, I thought I'd tell you about my net. I love this thing. It's a Placino. It's uh, got a big mouth on it. It's got a, a aluminum. I guess that's aluminum beam that goes around it. Short. It's pretty easy for one person to scoop up a big fish. You can. It's got a big mouth. You can scoop up a big one. It's got a rubber coated net, and this right here is a flotation device. It's got a floating handle and a flotation device. So if you drop it in the water, it ain't going nowhere. That's what I like about this net. Cause I have dropped it in the water a few times, but I don't lose this one. It don't sink to the bottom. I love these nets, guys. And if uh, you want to check it out, just look under the video in the description box under Placino Landing Net, and you can check them out. Oh yeah, look at that. I think he's got one. Yep, little guy. I know he's too small. He's probably about 
eight or so. I'll look at him. <laughs> eight and three quarters. Later. Oh, there he is. Is that one? It looks like it. Yep. That's one. Eh, he might go close to the keeper size. Electric chicken. Pink head. They like it. It's a black crappie. He might not. They always look a little bigger than they are. Yeah, he's nine and a quarter. Later. There he goes. We're going to get you. Oh, yeah. Mm. I don't know if he, he's a little shy, too, I think. I'm not sure. Electric chicken, pink head, they love it. Yeah. He is pushing nine and a half. Later. There he is. Come on, baby, get him in here. It's a good one. There we got him. <laughs> Easy there, guy. Oh, yeah. Man, he got a battle scar on him. I don't like that. That would have been a good eating crappie. But he's... Yeah, he's pretty roughed up. I'll let him heal up before I keep him. Let me see what he is. Yeah. He's a little over 10 and a half. Alright, you get better. I'll catch you later. Today, guys, I'm using an Alba Garcia Max X10 light spinning reel. I love these things. They got ball bearings on both sides. If you buy you a small light spinning reel, make sure they got ball bearings on both sides some of them don't some of them have a plastic bushing over here and some have ball bearings alba garcia they're good about putting bearings on both sides i've what it does is makes that get stiff and it jams up and gets stuck i don't like to deal with that so i use these reels right here because i know what they're going to do anyway guys this thing has a 5.2 to 1 gear ratio it's pretty quick it keeps up with the crappie pretty good and I have it spooled with six pound test high vis Mr. Crappie fishing line. And on the rod, I love these little rods right here. They're affordable. Shakespeare micro series, light action rods. This is a five foot six. You can get it in a seven footer and a five, uh, four foot eight. The four foot eight's a little flimsy. Seven footer is a little more firm, but heavier. And this one's just right for me. I like the, the backbone that this one has right here. They got good sensitive tips. You can feel that thump real easy with them crappie. But anyway, guys, if you want to check these out, I'll have Amazon links below the video in the description box. There he goes. Oh, I lost him. My hand. My hand. Oh, man. They're starting to bite a little bit. They're starting to bite a little bit. Let me catch another one. There he goes. There might be another good one. We're going to find out here in a minute. Yeah, It's going to be close. I don't know. He looks a little shy to me. But we'll try and see. Yeah, he's a little shy. I can tell now. A little over nine and a quarter. Later. Alright, there he is. I got snagged and got another crappie. I'm thinking this thing will slow down in a minute. As soon as I turn my trolling motor on to stop it. Okay, he might be a keeper. He's close. Eh, no, I don't think so. Can't really tell until I get him in my hands. Nine, a little over nine and a half. Later. Well, the old sonar finding went out, guys. 
the old sonar finally went out so I'll just cover it up and we'll start focusing on our fish again it's getting some pretty good bites since I changed lures so I'm hoping I'll catch a few more there he goes uh-huh I seen him oh he's a pretty good one I'll get the net for this one he's almost <laughs> if I can get him in here he's a pretty good one easy oh boy wow I got him on the outside <laughs> you messed up you shouldn't have bit the minnow oh he's a he's a good one pretty yeah so we're talking about 12 and 3 quarters that's what we're looking for crappy like that <laughs> look how thick he is we'll take him oh there he is yep he's there <laughs> a little bitty black crappy little black crappy there we go well we did get another one He's a little guy. Later. I'm going to try right up in there because I just ain't fished that spot yet. I'm, I'm really surprised that I didn't get nothing off of that. But anyway, it happens. I keep on fishing. You got anything out in here? Uh oh, there he goes. Now he might be, yeah, I don't know. He's close, he's a borderline. He might be, man, he probably is now that I see he's got a cut on him. That ain't no good. Yeah, he's not though. He's nine and three quarters, but he needs to heal up. He got a battle scar on him. Later. Look at here, I got a. There he goes. There he goes. That's a. That's a little one. Black crappie. He's either. <laughs> Electric chicken again. He likes it. Yeah, I know he's about nine or so. here I see a stump but just like that log back there it didn't have nothing on it so I don't know if there'd be anything on this but I'll sure try oh I got a snag yeah there he goes I got him but yeah there's a he was there I got snagged up and while I was playing he jumped on it <laughs> uh, now he might well he's a good crappie pretty thick but it's not going to be long enough these guys these black crappie are shorter nine and a quarter Maybe. Uh, is that another spot i'm thinking i see a stump or something right there yeah maybe I don't, oh yeah there he is that's a good something. That's a crappie. That's a good one. Let's get him in here. Oh yeah. I just I just slung him in here, but he's a good one. Probably should have used the net. Oh yeah, that's a black crappie. Look how thick he is. I like that. Alright, let's see what we got. Love him. 11 and a quarter he's a good one yes sir we're taking and yeah, back there all right we're going there we go look here yep we got you he might well he might be long enough i don't know we'll see no, I don't think so. A little white crappie. 
man look at how close he is oh well he was close we'll let you go later oh there he is drag is not sit right that's a pretty good fish what is that that might not be a crop no not sure what that is get up here where i can see you Oh, that's a bass. Hey, that's a pretty good bass. I don't know if there's gonna be any crappie in there or not. He's over there harassing them, probably. <laughs> wow, that's a good one. But, yeah, we'll get in there and check out for crappie. Man, I had him double hook. He wasn't going nowhere. Okay, there we go. Solid fish. Solid fish right there. Look how thick he is. Oh, nice one. We're looking for crop of the day, so later. Let's see. Oh, there he is. Well, well, well. I thought it pulled across the log and let it sink. And he bite it, but not good enough. Right there. Let it sink. There he is. Oh, you got there, bass. I think so. <laughs> uh, that little bass put up a good fight. <laughs> put up a good fight. All right. Two well, right in through here. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. A bass. <laughs> Another bass. I had a mark on him pretty good. Like something grabbed him. There we go. Anyway. Lady.